Welcome. This video is the third in a series which introduces Axes, Lanza's modernization tool that automatically transforms RPG and COBOL applications into web applications without having to change a line of code. Part 3, Adding Value. In part one of this video series, we saw what Axis web enabled 5250 screens looked like out of the box. In part two, we looked at how global rules can be applied to apply styles and controls across your entire application. In this video, we will look at how you can add value to specific screens. But which screens do you customize? Look for screens where the users spend most of their time. Normally, there is an 80-20 rule. Users will spend 80% of their time in 20% of the screens. Identify these screens and then look at how you can add value to those specific screens. Now let's take a look at what your screens could look like using a combination of global rules and specific screen customizations to add value. Here is my customized login page as you saw in part two of this video series and I'm going to log in and we go to our main menu and here's a prime example of where I've added some additional controls. So I've replaced some of the menu options with buttons but the one I really want to focus on is this one called work with customers. As part of the developers tool you get a choreographer. The choreographer could be used to record keystrokes and that macro can be assigned to a button. So if I need to go to a particular part of my application and that's where I do most of my work, rather than having to manually navigate, I can just replay the keystrokes to get to my work with customers subfile. And here we see another example of a customized screen. I've removed all of the function keys and I've changed the subfile so that it looks more like a contact card style of interface. It's more of a web interface than it is a 5250 screen now. I've replaced the standard subfile more buttons with forward and backward arrow keys and I've added a floating action button which allows me to add a new customer. Here's an example of a screen which hasn't been customized, but has been rendered using the global rules. So your drop down, your check boxes, your uh, radio buttons have all been set up using a set of global rules. So I haven't really touched that screen at all. Go to F12. Now we're back at the subfile. I've replaced the subfile select field with an image. If I click on that image, we then see the subfile options. I can select that subfile option. On this screen, everything on the left is the original fields as they appear on your application. Example again of a global rule being applied for the drop down and also for the hyperlink here. So we've made that clickable so it can jump straight to the ACE hardware website. Now everything on the right hand side are added controls. In Axis we call them extensions. In this case we have a tab folder extension with two tab sheets. One showing a chart showing the top 10 customers and one showing the order history for this specific customer. Now the data for these extensions comes directly from the database. So this particular example is dynamic. So if I just go back to the subfile and select Lanza and look at the details, we will see the order history for Lanza Mart. So we can build this dynamic. And built into this control is the ability to download it to a PDF, a CSV, Excel, we can print it and we can do copy. I just select it, open that up, and we now have it in PDF format. Top 10 customers, well, that is just a chart control that allows us to visualize the data. 
So now rather than having to go to separate parts of the systems, I now have that information directly at my fingertips. This is where I'm adding value. Another example of adding value is if we go to the address information, I can take that address information and I can use it in a mapping, in our mapping extension. So I've taken the information directly from the screen and I've used it to display a map of the actual location for both billing and shipping. And this is another example of where we can add value. Now, one final example I want to show you is if we go into the order orders here, is I have actually dynamically applied a style to the order total so that you can visually see what is below 2000 and what is below uh, above 50,000. So again, I've added value. So I can quickly dive into anything that's below 2000 and I can drill into that and I can have a look and see um, what was actually ordered for that. But it gives me an instant feedback and that's the sort of controls you can do and you can add. That concludes this short series of videos introducing axes.